discern God's plan for your life and ministry during the next 10 years. You said, but pastor, you just said I, tomorrow's not guaranteed. It's not. But you want to live as though you got 10 years while realizing you might not have tomorrow. Everybody see that? We got to learn to live in that tension all the time. I'm planning to maximize the decade of the 20s. But if the Lord takes me today or tomorrow, I'm ready to go with him. You don't have to want to go with him, just be ready. Isn't that, isn't that something? You don't have to want to go. There's nothing wrong with wanting to stay. God's not mad because you don't want to go to heaven right away. He's not going to get at you. You don't want to come. I, I go to prepare a place for you. No, God's not like that. Yes, what he's prepared for us is wonderful. And it's going to be great when we get there. But some of y'all are like me, but I'm not trying to go right now. Got some things I want to do here and now before we graduate to that. And so here's the first thing I want you to do. Discern God's plan for your life and ministry during the next 10 years. Envision yourself New Year's Eve 2029. That's what I want you to do. Take a moment and envision yourself December 31st, 2029. We'll be, if the Lord blesses us to be here, we'll be about to go into a new decade, the 30s. If the Lord blesses us, we will be introduced into another decade just like we were several weeks ago. What do you want to be different then than it is right now? What about you? What's in your heart that you want to be fulfilled? What are the dreams you want to have seen come to pass? Who are the people whose lives you will wanted to have impacted and see them do far better than they're doing now because of the role you play in their life? I want you to create in your mind, based on what's in your heart, create a vision for 10 years from now. Create a vision based on what's in your heart. Now, you've heard me talk about this quite a bit. Jesus said a good, ma good person out of the good treasure in their heart brings forth good things. How do good things come forth? Well, they start in your heart. You, do you know everything that is manifested in the physical, natural world had a non-physical beginning? Think about it. Every beautiful building you've ever seen or ever, ever been in, every, every piece of architecture, everything that is just, wow, look at that. It started not because somebody started building. It started because somebody started envisioning. Everything starts in a non-physical realm. You got to have faith. What in your life is something you believe God's told you to do? You don't see the resources. It doesn't make sense to you. But it's in your heart. And it can't and it's not leaving. You've got to discern God's plan for your life and ministry. And I want you to cast the vision. See what Habakkuk said? There's a vision. Write the vision. It's far out there. It's not, it's not what you can see now. This is vision. We saw ourselves in a building we didn't know what city it was going to be in. We cast a broad net. When we started searching for property to build a worship center, we cast a broad net. We looked on the peninsula. We looked in Santa Clara. We looked in the East Bay. We, I mean, we cast a broad vision. I visited places all over that area, wide range of places. Lord, what are you giving us? 
and we would look and, oh, we can make this work. And then that door would shut. That city said, no, we're not giving a conditional use permit for a church to come in there. And we'd go, we opened everything. We opened every opportunity. And, you know, people weighing in, if you come over here, it's, it's really nice over here. That's because they live close to it. It's really nice over here. <laughs> and, you know, we all, I said, I, I told him, I said, we're open to whatever God says. Open to whatever God says. And God opened one door and one door only. We looked everywhere. Every door shut except where we are. And so we said, okay. They said, you can lease. They'll let you get a conditional use permit in, in Fremont. In that area, they've already determined that nonprofits can come into this area and what have you. So we came over here and we looked at this. Somebody had envisioned it as an industrial building and it had been used that way for years. But God sent us over here looking to make it something it wasn't. We're sitting in something that we had to envision. We had to say, you know what? That's no longer going to be an industrial building. That's going to be a house of worship. And we have created 37,000 square feet of worship space here. And we bought another 15,000 because to get this, we had to get that. And we're going to make that a kingdom life center. It wasn't created for that, but in the mind of God. That's what it is. It's where we sit now. What in your life needs to be what it's not? It's not going to become what it needs to be just because it is. You're going to have to make it happen. Discern God's plan for your life and ministry. Hey, thanks so much for viewing today. I hope you were blessed. Listen, if you want to receive all of the videos that we post, simply subscribe by pressing the button on your screen. We'd also like to encourage you to share this information with others so that they too can be blessed. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.